intro. <laughs> Welcome to the video. I'm Solomon Mike. This is a training vlog. Want to do a YouTube intro for a video? What's up, YouTube? Solomon Mike. I'm going to crush weights today. PRs are going to rain. I hit a squat PR 170 front squat last week, and I also hit a clean PR of 140 kilos. So I'm going to beat both of those today. That's me being Nostradamus and telling the future. Connor's going to Tarantino this to show you what actually happens in about half an hour, but only hint at it so you can watch the rest of the video. But there's a new thing on YouTube. The only way you can watch the rest of the video is if you give this thing a thumbs up. Is that YouTube enough for you? Yeah. You guys like that? You guys like YouTube? You like what I've become? Now what do we do? I miss both PRs. Give up. Here's uh, when you drop the excuses. You ready? Yep. So uh, with the weightlifting programming, Ben's been handling me and everything's been going really, really well. Um, but now we're handling loads that are fairly heavy uh, in terms of like 130, 140 kilos on a clean, which is you know, 280 to 300 and whatever, eight pounds. So it's not like it's no stimulus. We're in the beginning. I was handling like 100 kilos. It was like 200 pounds. It's like no stimulus. It wouldn't fatigue me the same on my low back and my legs because relative to my general conditioning for squats and how strong and, and endurance for my legs are, uh, it just wasn't affecting me. But now it's heavy and starting to affect me. So I've been uh, programming and following my own squat uh, protocols, which is basically based on the Kaizen squat programs that we just dropped, um, except I switched some things around because I want to get better at front squats, but otherwise very similar. A couple beltless days, a couple heavy days, light, medium, heavy. And yesterday, I was just feeling kind of good on a beltless day, and so uh, I went for a beltless PR. Yesterday is a light day uh, for the weightlifting, and today is supposed to be the heavy clean day. And it was. I still cleaned like 130 pounds or 130 kilos, which isn't bad for me. That's still like 90%. So if you get in that range on a heavy day, it's still fine. Um, but I did 210 kilo back squat beltless for three, which I think is an all-time PR regardless of body weight. And I'm pretty small right now. I'm probably like 200 pounds and when I was smashing bigger weights and powerlifting I was probably 210 to 220 so that obviously fatigued me because then I missed that front squat which is 175 kilos I squatted 170 uh, front squat last week I'm gonna try to give Connor the tech the uh, cell phone footage so you guys could just see it because I absolutely crush it um, and then I saved because I wanted to do 175 this week but I misprogrammed myself 100% to blame there it is. Uh, getting a little too into my ego uh, squatting heavy too heavy too often um, but it's still fine so uh, cleans actually felt really good. My rhythm on everything up to about 130 felt really, really good. And then I think we jumped from 130 to 136, which is literally no jump for me. Uh, it should have been fine. And uh, my upper back and my legs are just fatigued. <laughs> upper back's getting really, really tired um, now that I'm actually snatching something and I'm really getting the front rack position. Um, my traps are just constantly sore, which is all good. I got to build all that up to be able to handle these positions, um, but it's just not there today, and that's how it goes. So tomorrow we're back to the drawing board. Yeah. Got a belted back squat day. I'm going to try to stay a little bit lighter, maybe around 200 kilos for some triples, uh, and then we'll do some technique work on the snatch and the clean and jerk. Probably Friday off. And then right back into the mix of things. And typically Friday or Saturday is when you max out from the ground, just kind of feel where you are. And by max out, you max out for that day. So you just kind of see um, how you're feeling and how things are progressing, handling some heavier loads, somewhere around 90%, uh, percent, unless things are really clicking, then you go for a PR. So overall satisfied, obviously it's not fun to not hit a PR when I was feeling good and I kind of planned to hit one, but uh, tomorrow's another training day. Yeah, I'll do like 175 today and then like 165 for three next week and then maybe do 180 or something. Big. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of 100 degrees here in Northern California. Relax it. I rode the bike here, feeling warm. Back feels good. I had my secret, top secret pre workout, which is actually kind of gross. It's just because I'm dieting. Non fat, non sugar, Greek yogurt. It's basically protein pudding. And riddle me this in the comments. Boys, you could riddle me this as well. 
Reese's Puffs was arguably my favorite cereal. Why does Captain Crunch peanut butter make a better Reese's Puffs than Reese's Puffs does? Captain Crunch peanut butter is literally just a better Reese's Puffs. It's better though. I need Butterfinger to throw their hat in the cereal ring and then we'll have a... Or Jiffy? A Jiffy cereal? I think they make it. Kit Kat's not peanut butter, kid. Hope you guys like this training vlog. Uh, be sure to subscribe. We're dropping new videos Monday, Wednesday, and Saturdays. Some instructional, some weightlifting, some powerlifting, all that good stuff. I appreciate you guys. I'll catch you in the next one.